When I first started working, one of the things that frightened me the most was keeping accounts and keeping track of expenses. I was used to managing my own money and writing down what I spent, but I always did it in a little book and then added things up with a calculator. Moving all that onto the computer meant that I had to learn how to use a spreadsheet software called Excel. When I first opened a spreadsheet, it looked like a big empty graph and I really didn't know where to start. Now, I really like Excel. It does so much work for me and saves me loads of time on the calculator adding things up and double checking them. The first thing I do when I create a new spreadsheet is to give it a name and save it. I then put into a new folder I created called Finances. I give the folder a short name that relates to what I'm going to put in it so that I'll be able to easily find it again. Now I'm ready to start working on my spreadsheet. I type in headings at the top of each column and that tells me what the information in that column is. Then I start adding the information into the rows and cells. I keep text information in different columns from numbers. That way it makes it easier for me to get the spreadsheet to do the calculations and for me to move things around and sort them. Once I've added in some of the amounts from my income or my receipts, I can then just click at the top of the column and the spreadsheet will show me the total at the bottom. If I hover over that section, it will also show me the average, the highest and lowest numbers, and how many numbers there are in the column. If I want to sort the different expenses so that I can see all of my fuel or maybe all of my car maintenance costs for the month together, then I can click on the column that describes my costs then click on the icon that sorts things from A to Z and it will sort everything into alphabetical order. When my spreadsheets get really long, I freeze the line at the top and the side of the spreadsheet. I do that by clicking on the row or column after it, then clicking on the window menu and then I click on freeze panes. Then when I move up and down my spreadsheet, I can still see the headings. Spreadsheets aren't just for text and numbers though. You can add other things like images too. I've really grown to love working with spreadsheets. The more I learn, the more I find out how to save myself time and get Excel to do most of the work for me. And that can only be good, right?